Yeah, you scumbag! Yeah! Yes! We did it! Oh my god, I finally got one! Hello everybody, Grace Still Plays, and I'm here with a new game for the channel called Feral, No Time for BS. So real quick, Feral is a prototype game right now, so understand this is not beta, this is not alpha, this isn't even early access. This is a prototype that cropped up on Alpha Beta Gamer. I'm going to go ahead and put a link in the description below. It is completely free to try out if you want to. It is gamepad enabled only right now though. So you have to have a gamepad in order to play this game. I'm just using one of my old Xbox 360 gamepads. We're going to use that and check this out. I'm going to go ahead and get into this and talk about it a little bit. As we do this, the point of Feral is you are some sort of alien feline-ish creature. And it's a survival exploration style game, but it's very cool in that you're not just some astronaut or something. This is our little cave, by the way. We can hear all of our little creatures. Oh, by the way, I want to show you this. If you go inside of the cave here, you're going to have all of the... Look at these. Now, these aren't really up... Uh, these aren't really... I don't know if these are unlocked yet or what, but there is so many perks here. <laughs> Stealth, thirst, hunger... Berries intake, berries feed you more. Just all kinds of, like, cool little things. I guess that's what we look like. We're some sort of, like, freakish saber-tooth-looking thing. I hope. I don't know. I'm gonna go back to the game here. And the purpose is that you, you navigate through this environment, and you hunt, and you search, and this is a very good-looking map. Now, there's a couple of abilities that you have as the creature you are. If we go ahead over here and we click on either one of our paddles, we'll see that we can focus on the animal sounds by pressing the left button and then smell by pressing the right button. And that kind of gives us the ability to locate like prey and stuff like that. And once we have them located, we get to sprint out and take their asses down like any big cat should. So let's go back to the game here. I'm going to go ahead and utilize the, this is, so this is like that, that interesting kind of like sense that we have that, that sixth sense and then this is a sniff that we do but we don't have any there's no there's nothing highlighted right now because there's nothing around us now on top of that we also have this sprint but the sprint does not last very long at all you can sprint for like i don't know maybe like six or seven seconds at best and then we have a jump and then of course we have our our crouch which is what we would use to kind of like stalk around and then on top of all that we got the beat em up button Right over there, there's our swipe to kind of take critters down once we've got them in our clutches. So let's go ahead and stalk around here and see what we can find. Now, I found for the most part the sniff doesn't seem to work that well unless you've been so close that maybe something got away from you. So in general, you're going to want to use this sense. Okay, right there, we can see there's something right over there. So let's see if we can... Let's see how well we can navigate up these rocks and such here. The landscape on this game is freaking vibrant and beautiful as hell. It's amazing that this is just like a kind of prototype as, as, as well as it looks. Oh man, I love the look of this thing. And I am a big, I am a big survival player. I love survival games. I just don't get to, there haven't been a lot of really kind of unique ones out recently. I've loved a lot of the ones that came out. I just haven't seen too many since then. Right there. Look at this guy right here. I don't think that we'll be able to sniff anything yet, but if we press this, Oh, wow, look at that. He's gone on our senses. That is very odd. Maybe it's because we can see him. All right, I'm going to see if we can drop down. I don't know if he'll run if we drop down here. All right, ready? Here we go. Okay, there we go. We managed... Oh, he saw us. Shit. Oh, no, he didn't. He didn't. Okay, here we go. Ready, guys? Let's freaking get this guy! Well, my game crashed. It made me sad. So we're going to have to find something else the old-fashioned way here. That's one of the things I noticed about this game is there's a lot of crashes right now. Probably just because of, like, the nature, the prototype nature of it. What do we have over here? What the hell is that? Oh, look at this proud-looking specimen. Okay, let's see if we can get this guy down without the game crashing on us. We also have some sort of... Right there. Okay. Oh, shit. He's running. Oh, boy. This is going to be tough. We have a cool jump that we can do. There's a little screamer guy. Did you hear that? <laughs> oh, I'm such a bad predator. All right, you little bastard. If you catch yourself on these things, they will, they will injure you. You can take damage in this game. You also need to... Oh, man. Right over here. We've got to see if we can hide behind these plants. Now, a lot of these plants, really cool. They kind of, like, react to your presence. The environment is really something to behold in this game. All right, where did this guy go? Here's those plants that wilt in your presence. Watch this. It's really cool. 
It's like, if you get close to them, look at that. It's so crazy. I don't know if it's because it knows that we're here or if it's something that happens because, like, it's just a natural, some sort of defense mechanism of the plant. Like, it doesn't look as tasty if it looks like it's all wilted and busted up. A lot of cool little butterflies floating around. As a cat, I feel like I should be swiping at those, but we've got to eat. Cats got to eat. You know how it goes. All right, what do we got around here? Oh, we have some... We have some mutated monkey creatures that we can attack if we want to. I guess we can go after those. Let me see if there's anything else around here besides these. Now, the only things pinging right now are these monkeys. All right. Let me go ahead and sneak around this way, and then we'll take them out. Now, I would imagine these monkey creatures don't, won't give us quite as much sustenance as that big old deer thing would, the space deer. But doesn't look like doesn't look like they've seen us. Oh, that one's hiding inside of the freaking briars there. What kind of... What is that? Our heart is pounding. Is that because... Is that because it sees us? And we know? That's interesting. I don't know what that's all about. Oh, it's another predator. Right there. Not just us on this island, by the way. We're not... We're not the apex predator. There's one of these things, too. You know what? Fine. You wanna go? You wanna go? Yeah, bring it on. Bring it on, bitch. Uh, oh, we can't attack it. This is this is odd. Uh, I think we may have bugged it out. Well, shit. Hold on, let's run away. <laughs> run away, if I can't attack it, it's not fair. All right, baby, do it for YouTube. Do it for YouTube. You son of a bitch, oh, he's so fast. Oh, we got, we got stabbed by the briars. <laughs> oh, no. I'm the worst giant cat in history. I can't even catch one deer. Uh, <laughs> I'm not giving up, damn it. Our critters gotta eat. Maybe one day I can find, like, an old, withered, lame deer. And I can catch that one. Maybe that'll be a little bit easier. Okay, there's one right over here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna wait for him to stop. There he is. He stopped. We are sneaking up on his ass. He doesn't even know what's coming. Doesn't even freaking know what's coming. Okay, get him. Get him. Get him. Uh, uh, oh. What? What the hell? I went right through him. Why? Where? Son of a bitch! These these freaking deers are using hacks, man. They're using hacks. This is bullshit. All right, we can see with our sense of smell here that the uh, the elk has gone this way. The the rare cosmic elk has kind of taken his happy ass down this pathway. Beautiful scenery, though. Can't manage to eat anything. What is this? What is this? Is this poop? Oh, we found some elk feces. We we literally scared the shit out of them. That's interesting. Very realistic, though. Very realistic game. I like it. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look if there's anything around here. I don't see anything. Ah, very cool. I like this. Okay, I've never seen this before. I like this aspect of the game. Oh, right here. Okay. All right. Now we're gonna we're gonna catch him on the freaking wall. We've got to win this time, right, guys? All right, here we go. Yeah, you scumbag! Yeah! Yes! We did it! Oh my god, I finally got one! I'm the best in the world! <laughs> and for our troubles, a lovely corpse that we can chew on. Now all I need is to find something to drink. Because it's get- Is that a volcano? Oh, we need to check that out. Okay, hold on. Oh shit, I think we just fell into the briars. Yep, we sure did. Luckily, the briars don't seem to do that much damage. Look at this bone! This bone is freaking awesome! Holy crap, what could that have come from? Is this all bones? Oh, this is a rib cage! Leave it to Gray to miss the obvious. That is freaking sweet. Now, that would be cool if whatever that is makes it into the, makes it into the game. Alright, what do we got over here? I don't see... I saw one little critter on that side. What I really want to find, though, is, like, a pond or something. Because I think we're going to need something to... Yeah, look at our look at how low our water is. I don't know if starvation and hydration actually affects you in this game yet. Whoa! What the hell happened here? Someone got to this poor bastard before us. That's for damn sure. Poor guy. Well, actually, you know what? That's, that's the circle of life in this place. I don't even know if this place has a name... Or what? Now, are these berries? Oh, they are! Berries! 
Okay. Well, let's eat him. Ow. Why did we... You take damage for... You do. You take damage from eating the berries. Is it because we're... Probably because we're sticking our nose into a bunch of thorns. Can I climb up this? I want to get... I want to get to that freaking volcano. No, you can't. Or at least I can't. Lot of bodies in this game. Feels a little strange seeing all the death. Oh, there is... Man, I think we're going someplace we shouldn't be going. Because there's a lot of bodies on this pathway here. As we kind of climb this area. I'm going to sprint a little bit. The sprint and the jump together are really cool. It just you, you, get that, you get that instance of feeling like a badass. And I do appreciate that. Let's see what we can see on top of this ledge. Every great predator feline always stands on a ledge in every movie ever. So we need to do the same. Oh, I found the watering hole. Oh, thank goodness, too, because we need this big time. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Give me all that sweet, delicious water. Oh, we're starving again. Wow, the drink and the food meters go down really fast in this game. I feel like that may have been enhanced a little bit too much for... What is that? Oh, it's one of the little screamers. You gotta stay away from those jerk wads because they scream and they let everyone know where you are. The worst part is that you can't even eat them. They pop down in the ground so damn fast, there's nothing you can do about them. I hate those little bastards. Something cute must die. That is this creature over here. Look at how adorable it is, which means that it is food for us. All right, you little jerk. Ah! Ah, I'm fucking blinded! Ah, you little bastard! Oh, oh, we got him. Rah, that's what you get. You think you can walk around here and spit feces in my eye and get away with it? You must be freaking crazy. In fact, that infuriated me, so I'm gonna kill your whole family. Rah! There you go, like father, like son. That's what time it is. Mm. Oh, it's like a frog. I thought it was a monkey, but really it's just a horribly deformed, mutated frog. Is everything on this, I, I don't know what this is. I was gonna call it an island, but I don't know if this is like a, like a giant continent or a planet or what. There's really not that much information about it. Well, as a predator, we might as well finish this guy off. Now, did we? Ah! Where'd he go? Where'd he go? There he is. All right, a hole. Ah! You. Gosh dang it. There we go. We got him. I was gonna say, I was hoping that you could pounce on him when you charge at him. I hope that they add that because you can pounce on the deers when you charge and catch up to them. Wish me luck, guys. Ready? Here we go. We're gonna see if we can take this freaking deer out. We're gonna trap him. Yeah! That last instance of a of a space deer's life when he realized he just messed up big time because he met Big Papa Gray, the gray fox feline mutated monster of this very vibrant and beautiful world. I think the thing I like most about this game right now, the gameplay is very simplistic. You know, obviously it's a little bit of hunting, little bit of exploration. The thing I like most is just the exploration part. Like, I, I love being able to run like a big-ass cat, do jumps, and totally fail at making... <laughs> connecting with the other side of the of the little ravine. Jump in here like a big kitten would and bathe. There we go. Get ourselves a little drink while we're at it. And uh, you've got yourself a hell of a start to a prototype. I'll tell you what. I mean, oh, hold on. All right, hold on. We can't end it yet. We, I, I need a twofer here. We've got to grab a twofer. Where did you go? I know we can use our sense of smell. Yeah, right here. Look at this. Look at this. This is what I'm talking about. Expert hunters. Spend about 45 minutes with the game. And we're, we're set, man. We're ready to go. Where is this jerk at? I know he's around here somewhere. Hold on. Let's go ahead and give it another open air sniff. Ah. Another waypoint. I kind of like the little waypoints just in case you miss where the... There he is. Right there. Okay, let's rustle through the foliage. Just like, you know, I have three cats, so I see this type of behavior all the time. I'm in... So I'm like a, I'm like a, a skilled amateur here just from watching. Okay, here we go. Here we go. All right, you little jerk. And out from the wood line! Pounces, Gray! Come here! Pretty little asshole. Oh, wow. They are they are way faster than us. You have to... So, basically, you have to be on top of this thing. Like, you have to be on top of it, or you have to force it into, like, some landscape. 
Because the AI doesn't appear to be smart enough to... What the hell? Oh, it's all these plants moving around. Well, that's cool. Oh, oh I hear something. Hold on. Where did it go? Oh, there's a little dudes over there. Well, I don't want you. I want the I want the space deer. Oh, here you go, guys. This isn't a space deer, but we're gonna pounce right on top of it. Ready? Here we go. Here we go. And right about now. Now. You got it. Come on. Come on, dude. Damn it, man. These guys. These guys are like snipers. Yeah. Ah, here we go. Clearly, these creatures. These prey animals sense by scent or something, or maybe hearing. It must be, he or not even hearing. It must be, I don't know what they sense by, because we're right in front of it. It's definitely not sight. These things' is sight is worse than mine. Maybe they need glasses. I don't know. Hold on. Let's see how close we can get before. Oh! I see those little things around it are what tells it how close we are. All right. So how close can we get before its, it's spider sense, like, tingles way too much? Hold on. Wow, you can get damn close. I'm talking like real close. Look at this. This is insane. Hold on. Maybe we'll be able to get it. Ready? Here we go. <sighs> Didn't stand a chance. Oh yeah. All right. Now I feel up and it dropped some poop out. <laughs> well, I think that that's enough for, let's get a, let's get a good look at this thing. Well, I guess now that I mauled it, it's not quite as majestic and beautiful as it was before. Anyway, guys, hope that uh, you've enjoyed this little look into this prototype that is Feral. A lot of potential here. Beautiful look for a game. The idea is solid. I, I would really like a game where instead of playing a guy that tries to survive in the wilderness or whatever have you, you are a beast that has to utilize all of its senses and all of its... All of its, I don't know, I guess advantages to try and hunt down prey yourself. I like the look of the game too. I like that alien, vibrant, really colorful look. It's very, it's almost like, it's almost like a painting. It just has that art quality to it. Anyway, guys, till the next time, stay foxy and much love.